My first time on the turf, what was it like? Uh, it was fun, just walking out, the environment you get coming through the tunnel and seeing it. You know, a lot of guys haven't seen a dome before, never played in a dome. Uh, throwing the ball, it comes out pretty nice. Uh, there's no, you know, wind, nothing you got to worry about, no weather you got to worry about. So when it comes off your hand, it spins pretty nice. And, and it's sticky. You know, the humidity helps with the uh, receivers catching passes and, and holding on to the ball. Coach said uh, you guys got a chance to go out and uh, hang out a little bit last night. Everybody's present at Count Four this uh, this morning, so that's a good thing. Yeah, it was a good thing. You know, we were just walking bourbon, uh, having fun, just experiencing the whole, uh, I, I guess, atmosphere, the culture down there, and, and it was pretty pretty special. Um, this is my fourth time here, fourth time on bourbon, so I was kind of like the tour guide for some of the guys uh, on our team. As far as, as, as just first impressions of the Raging Cajuns and, and defensively what they do, you know, what do you see, what do you notice there? Uh, they run around. Um, you, they get 11 guys on the ball. Uh, watching them, they, they try to disguise coverages pretty good, and uh, they'll mix some things up. Uh, they got a really good defensive front, two big guys, two big defensive tackles um, who are going to cause us some trouble. So we got a good play, game plan in right now. We just got to continue to execute uh, when it comes down to it, win on third down, and, and we'll be all right. How do you guys get set for an atmosphere that will probably be like a road game for you guys? Yeah, you know, we've been preparing for it the whole time. Uh, mentally, we knew, you know, they're going to bring a lot of fans and we probably wouldn't have that many. So uh, we're, we're preparing, you know, a silent count just in case because it we're, like you said, it, it's, it could be a road game for us. What do you think whenever you hear people kind of throw out your numbers and compare it to Colin Kaepernick and say, you know, you two are the only guys that ever put up those type of numbers? Uh, I think it's an honor just to be mentioned with Colin. Obviously, uh, I got a good relationship with him. And, you know, anytime I text him or call him, he's always there for me. Uh, the fact that we're both from the same school is pretty awesome. I think uh, it goes to show what we do and what the pistol offense can, you know, display and what kind of, I guess, stats you put up. Do you have any contact with them? Or do you I do, yeah. You know, uh, we actually played at San Jose State this year, and we used the 49ers facility, and he came up to me, gave him a big hug, and he's like, hey, I'm here for you if you need anything. I've uh, been texting him through the whole process, and it's nice to have a guy who's been through it, you know, the highs and the lows. And quarterback's a very unique position where you can't ask, you know, a lineman how the process goes. you got to ask another quarterback because it's very unique. How do you think you guys stack up with what your record is, just considering the games you've had that have been right there? Yeah, you know, if you look at our schedule and, and you look who we've played, we, we beat some good teams and we lost to some good teams. And, you know, some of these games that we lost by six, five, seven points, you know, uh, they're pretty tough to swallow. Uh, sometimes it's almost better to lose by 20 than lose by five on a, on a game-winning drive. Um, but for us, you know, we got a lot of confidence. I think it built character. A lot of these young guys grew up uh, losing these close games, and I think it'll hopefully pay dividends in this bowl game. Spoke with the Cajuns last week, talked about how physical they were prepared this game to be. Can you kind of talk a little bit about, I guess, the mindset of the offense heading into this one? Yeah, you know, a bowl game is very special because it's the last game on your schedule. So when you go out, everyone's throwing their body around just to get that victory. And, you know, for us, especially for some of these seniors that will never put on another pair of shoulder pads or helmet, they're going to be flying around, throwing their body around. And, and that's what makes it so, so physical. And we're prepared for a physical game, obviously. Uh, the rest, two weeks off, everyone's healthy and, and everyone's just ready to hit someone else other than your own team. Especially, you know, not a lot of people get here, get a chance to even practice here. You know, being in college and being able to practice and play here is pretty special for me. What do you think the mindset of this team is? You guys got to go out and hang out a little bit last night, but now pretty focused, it looks like. I mean, I feel like we're pretty focused. You know, our mindset is on this game. We're getting ready to go out there and compete and win this bowl game and just go home with a victory, finish our senior year with a victory and just win out. Do you think about it? Could be the last time you're wearing pads? You know, I thought about it, but, you know, I, that's not up to me. You know, it's up to the man above. And, you know, I'll be, I feel special if I get the opportunity to play at the next level. Coach Pauline was saying how similar he thinks the offenses are for both teams. You know, what do you see about the Raging Cajuns? Obviously, the running attack, pretty big, pretty big for them, too. Yeah, I, I think we're pretty similar. They want to run the ball, and we want to stop the run. And they got two very good, very good and talented backs in 46 and 15, and, you know, once they get going, it's hard to stop them, but that's our job to do it. Does that help, you know, facing in practices a mobile quarterback and a rushing attack like that when you face a team like the Raging Cajuns? Yeah, it helps a lot. You know, we're used to seeing it in practice. So when we play teams who run the ball with quarterbacks and running back, it's pretty similar. Their offensive lines play with the best of them this year. Can you kind of talk a little bit about what you see up front from them? I think they're pretty solid. You know, they got they got two very good guards and very good tackles. You know, I mean. I think that our offensive line and their offensive line are pretty similar. You know, I feel like facing our offensive line on an everyday basis gets us ready to play them. How do you prep for this game knowing that you're going to be completely outmatched as far as fan support and just everything in the stands, really? I mean, honestly, we, 
played a lot of road games. You know, we're pretty used to it. You know, I believe we're five and one on the road or something like that. So this, I feel like we feel at home. You know, it's a great environment to be home and silence the fans. And uh, Cody talked yesterday about how many of the guys have never experienced a bowl win. How important is that for you seniors in this game to get that win? It's very special. You know, uh, I got here in 2011, so I missed the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl. And the two bowl games I was a part of, you know, we ended up losing. So I feel like for the seniors, it would be a good thing to get a, get a victory in the bowl game. All right, Kendall, I guess it's welcome home for you. How does this feel? Oh, it's great being home. Uh, uh, Louisiana, again, it's been three months, so I'm, I'm glad to be home, definitely. What has this experience been like for you? What do you think it's going to be for you? I mean, we know that Louisiana didn't recruit you, and you know you fell in love with Nevada and decided to go out west. I'm glad to be in Nevada. I mean, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Uh, it's been the, the greatest three months of my life, and this first semester has been great. I couldn't ask for any, anything else. I know this environment is going to be great. Teammates, you know, we're all ready, and it's, I'm really excited. Maybe one or two family or friends members in the stands? <laughs> yeah, a few, a few families are going to be there, so it should be fun. I think the last we saw of you, you're catching passes, now you're defending them. What's the transition been like going to full-time cornerback for you? Oh, it's been it's been fun. It's been uh, it's been real fun. Uh, you know, it, in college, it's a lot more demanding than high school, but uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun. You don't always see freshmen making big plays, and yet we saw this interception you had early in the year. Take me through that and kind of how big that was right off the bat for your career. Oh, it was uh, it was a special moment. It was, I will never honestly will never forget that. And. Uh, it was a great uh, experience on the uh, ESPN, and I'm glad we won the game. That was a, the main focus of that, beating a Pac-12 team, and that was fun. I know the STM fans always have their interesting things, You're expecting fat heads maybe, something uh, yes, sir. in the stands a little bit. Yes, sir. Some of my friends, I think they're, they're bringing my uh, senior night fat heads, so that should be cool. <laughs> Is there a chip on your shoulder, I guess, heading into this one? Uh, yes, sir, a little bit. Can you talk a little bit about you know how that'll fuel your play a little bit? Uh, I mean, you know, it's more about, it's not about me, it's, it's more about the team, and you know, winning the game at first, and that's about it. Yeah. First thing when you when you got down here, what, what did you do? You go talk to friends, family, did you? Walk yeah. Around New Orleans? What, you do? I went to get some fried uh, shrimp at go. Landry's. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, that was the. I took some of the guys out. We went to. They got some of the guys. That was the first time eating the gumbo, and it was a cool experience. I'll definitely never forget it. What was your first reaction when you saw on the screen you're going to the New Orleans Bowl? Oh, I was actually in my dorm room, and one of the. A, a freshman friend came in, was like, "We're going to New Orleans. We're going to New Orleans," and I was like, "We were screaming, and it was crazy. It was, I'll honestly never forget that moment either. That was a great experience. So that was cool." What, did you feel any kind of way coming out of high school the fact that UL didn't recruit you? Uh, coach talked about that a little bit uh, earlier. Uh, I mean, you know, it's honestly like I said, it's not about me. It's more about the team, and you know, this game, and we're here to win this game, and it's not about like just UL recruiting me. So. You talk about playing in the Superdome and growing up in Louisiana. This has to be a, a dream. Definitely, definitely. Uh, I've always been a Saints fan my whole life, even when they were called the Aints. The Aints, and uh, you know, playing there has always been a dream. And you know, I never actually made it for uh, state in high school, but uh, playing there has definitely been a dream. Was it kind of surreal walking in today? It was seeing the Wolf Pack and the Raging Cajuns, and seeing the Mercedes Benz Superdome. It was definitely a surreal moment. Any Cajuns fans in your family? Oh yes, yes sir. Both uh -oh. of my uh, parents are alum. A little trouble there. Uh, I mean, they're going to be going for the Wolfpack, but yeah, a little bit of trouble, yeah. Good on them. <laughs>